um, test that out okay so now let's click on next as you can see we're going to the next slide previous okay so that's taking us to previous all right but what happens when we click on previous again um nothing happens but let's click on next but actually uh, it seems like it did um uh, crash okay so let's refresh this so let's click on previous all right so nothing happens but when we click next as well um something happens but we have to click it many times so let me show you so i click on previous click on next everything works fine but when i click previous twice one two when i click next once it doesn't work i have to click it three times okay so we want to um uh, make sure that doesn't happen so let's head over, head over to our text editor so we have to do some checks so let's see when we're going to previous we want to say if okay this dot current index um, equals equals oh zero we want to just return okay so we don't want to um, re reduce the index when we add the zero index so let's say also um, go to um, index here so let's say if um, this dot current index is equal to um, this dot slides dot length minus one we return okay so that will um, uh, disable the, that issue we've been having about um, when we reach the end and we click uh, things don't work as expected so we're going to previous two three four but now when I click next once it should work okay because um, there's no effect when I click on previous and we're on the first slide as you can see we're on the fourth fifth when I click on next to um, well, apparently it um, breaks so let's um, see what's the problem is so this the current index equals to slides this the slides or length minus one we are returning but apparently it's not having any effect so um, see what the problem is this the current index okay um to a console.log here and uh, let's see in here okay so I'll refresh that so when we reach the last slide this will say in here but it's not so let's do a console.log of uh, this dot current index and let's do the same for this dot slides dot length minus one Okay, so I refresh that. Next, zero and four, one four, three and four, four and four, five and four. So um, apparently we're having an issue. So um, I'll just do a bit of debugging and um, I'll re resume the video when it's that's done. Okay the issue was a uh, spelling mistake so instead of ln it should be len gth so everything was working fine but um this if statement was always wrong because of the spelling okay so save that come to the browser now when we reach the end that's the last one we won't be taking to um, any further okay so next let's handle um having many items on the slide okay on a single slide okay so um inside of props here um we have items per slide okay so let's change that to um let's say two okay so we come out here and save as you can see now we have many items on a single slide but we don't want the other items to show even though this works fine um what we want is that the first and the second slide are the only ones showing okay basically the way to do that is we have to add a style here to this slide so let's do um slides so basically um, we want overflow um, to be hidden so when the slides go over the width of the slice container um, we want it to be hidden and let's do text align center okay. and um, yeah so let's come over here as you can see now it is as we expect so um, the inputs here are a bit aligned in the middle so and we have only the first and the second one showing so next 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 okay 
so next um let's add in a bit of transition so that it slowly moves to the next one and how we do that is pretty easy we need to do slides in a run transition and it is margin 0.6 s uh, you can put this number anyhow you want and um, an effect is out okay so I'll save that and I um, refresh this now when we click on next it will have some nice transitions okay so next let's handle clicking on a single button here but before we do that let's style them so I've gone ahead and um, I've created some um, stylings up front and what I'm gonna do I'm just gonna paste those here so that we're a bit quicker so um, what I've done is for each nav number it has a margin background color of white padding of 0 and 5 pixels and um, some black border and um, some cursor point as well so let's click on that um, refresh the browser as you can see now we have some bit of styling but we wonder when we're on a current slide that um, we that one is highlighted but before we do that let's handle when we click on each of them okay so I'm gonna come here and um, add an event handler for a single um, nav number so let's do V on click 